Hey guys, this is Andreas with Nothing But Tablets and the app I'm going to show you today is an app that gives your Android tablet features that are frankly very iPad-like. Uh, as a lot of you know, I'm not a big fan of the status bar on uh, Android uh, 3.0 and above. Um, basically, I think it's pretty idiotic to have a have an interface element that doesn't disappear uh, when you go full screen so essentially no matter what you do you will never actually experience the full uh, full screen experience uh, you're watching videos and uh, the status bar dims but it doesn't go away and uh, it's a whole mess so I've shown you an app in the past that can help this and uh, there's a new app on the market that does a lot of the same things, but frankly, it does it better. So it's called uh, Gesture Control, and it basically gives you um, iPad-like gestures to control various aspects of the OS. Basically, you have a status bar on, off, back, and home. Uh, you can either choose multi multi touch or single touch gestures because not all Android devices have uh, multi touch screens. You have an option to turn it on and off. Tutorial mode basically just uh, lets you know if you it detects that you're trying to do a gesture but haven't quite gotten it right. Um, show status bar and screen unlock. Um, that's basically sort of a safety feature uh, in case that um, well first off you can see this little icon down in the bottom right corner now that's actually there I, I asked the developer and he said that the reason why there's always a notification icon is that it prevents the tablet from uh, automatically closing the process that's doing this so that uh, you don't end up in a full screen game and remove the uh, status bar only to uh, have the uh, OS close this process that brings the status bar back. So that's sort of a safety feature so that you can always um, just uh, lock the screen using the hardware button and then uh, it will come back. But I, I guess that wouldn't work either if the process itself is closed. But uh, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how that works, but either way, you know, let's assume that uh, you're having trouble uh, making the status bar come back and then you can just uh, lock and unlock the screen in order to have it come back to you. Uh, and then gestures can only start from screen border. Uh, I have that turned on. Uh, on the iPad it doesn't matter where you start the gestures, but on the iPad all the gestures are multi-touch uh, the equivalent of status bar on off on the iPad would be to shove the multitasking bar which you do by holding down four or five fingers on the screen and pulling up and for some reason the multi-touch option here is only two fingers up and down for uh, status bar and back button that's a little bit peculiar because there's so many uh, apps that use two finger uh, gestures for various things like um, scrolling. Uh, I know that uh, on my uh, unified remote control app, two fingers equals scrolling the mouse wheel when uh, using uh, the tablet as a uh, input device for a computer. So that's why I have it from the screen border only if it had been a four uh, finger gesture I would have uh, disabled that so I could do it from anywhere because on a 7 inch tablet uh, I mean uh, it's sort of annoying to have to do it from outside the screen but anyways and then status bar manually toggle, uh, toggle status bar on off basically just does this uh, yeah so basically over to what this does and now I'm using screencast and even though it shows you where I'm pressing on the screen it doesn't do that when I'm using multi-touch gestures 
So I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. So first off, I'm going to take two fingers, start from the bezel of the device and uh, pull up. So that hides the status bar. And if I do it again, it comes back. Uh, this, it, there's a little bit of lag because uh, the status bar is a process, so basically it has to close and start an app uh, every time you do it. So uh, let's ha head into Google Play. Um, uh, let's go into just have somewhere to try the back functionality, which is two fingers starting from the bezel of the device and pulling down. And then the final one is the home button. We basically take four fingers or just five, like I do, and just uh, sort of grab the bezel and squeeze. So that's the three gestures currently in the app. Um, I think the status bar one is the most useful. Uh, honey bar, which I have uh, somewhere here. Uh, does this uh, as a part of the same thing in that it allows you to hide the status bar but it actually places a sort of hidden touch area right here in the middle of the bottom of the screen which on um, <laughs> I just got an email from the developer uh, but it basically pu uh, puts the uh, control button right here where Samsung tablets already have this little uh, toolbar thing button so that's a bit of an annoyance and also um, if you're in a movie or something like that uh, there you might have the play button down there so I think that having a gesture just uh, using two fingers up and down uh, and now it just warned me that I have to start from the border uh, so I think the gesture is a much better solution for doing this and uh, the only issue I have with this is that um, this icon down here, um, when in portrait mode, it doesn't really bother me, but uh, if you have a 7 inch tablet li like I do, um, if you move it over to portrait mode, it takes up the only slot there is for uh, a notification so right now down here I have a uh, this sc uh, screencast um, notification email notification and uh, the uh, gesture control notification if I turn my tablet I don't know how this will look on video but basically now the only visible notification is the um, is the one for gesture control and uh, if you've seen the other article I posted today about changing your DPI uh, right now there's actually more than enough room for more notifications uh, icons down there so apparently something else in the OS other than the DPI is controlling how many notification icons are visible in portrait and landscape so that's a bit of an annoyance because when holding it in portrait uh, mode and of course this won't affect 10 inch tablets and stuff like that but when holding it in portrait mode uh, it will sort of hide all the other notifications so if you want to use this all the time then um, that's going to be an issue because then you have to sort of uh, rotate your screen every time you want to do something and uh, uh, but I mean rotating the screen is okay and uh, uh, in that respect having this app here called the rotate is actually a very nice thing to have as well because uh, I've written about this before basically what it does is it overrides um, uh, your um, it overrides the uh, setting that each app has for screen orientation so uh, let's say you're playing um, um, cut the rope which is a portrait only uh, game normally you would 
then not be able to see your notifications or even uh, rotate the screen but using that app you will be able to so those apps together if you have a seven inch device is uh, working quite nicely but i do hope the developer finds a way to keep the process alive without using that notification but anyways that's um uh, gesture control it's in the uh, Google Play Store, stupid name. Uh, it's about $2 and it's definitely worth it. So this has been Andreas from nothingbuttablet.com and thank you for watching.